Hello and a warm welcome to the district of Avergeneda. We're at the Estadio Presidente Perón. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Argentina against England. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. In position, he got a good pal on it. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Rodrigo Javier de Pau starts alongside Giovanni Lo Celso in the centre of midfield. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. John Stone starts alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Raheem Sterling plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. It is a decent looking attack here. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. That's a very impressive piece of defending. On and on he goes. But quick thinking defensively. Attacking possibilities for England. Oh, breezing past him. Well, negligence in front of goal. No two ways about that. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Takes the shot. Simple catch, really. Showing teamwork and commitment. Oh, in with a chance! Couldn't beat the keeper, unfortunately for him. Well, I think that's a bad miss. He just never looked convincing as he went through there. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. They couldn't maintain possession. A danger here as he runs at them. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard-fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. And he's in. And pushed away to safety. Can they trouble the opposition this time? underway again and the onus is certainly on England to find a reply now running with the ball confidently this could square the game so the whistle then we're up the half well the ball is moving again and work to do for England. Can they up their game in this second half? Oh, it's threatening. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. 
Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, there's only going to be one outcome. It's a lovely goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Must take the lead here! Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Carl Walker under pressure here. They look as though they want to make this move count. Could be! Just couldn't get it through. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. He's going to score! They just couldn't stay in front. And now, this match is all square. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. For the goal that puts them ahead. Well, hit with power and almost the right precision. That is how to apply the pressure. Sterling takes it forward. Can't really say defences are on top. 3 2. Possession one. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Again, and the way they've been played, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So the current scoreline, 4 2. Going well. Oh, that's a really good run. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Inside the final 15 minutes. Moving it forward. A glorious chance. 
Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Well, the final whistle approaching, and this has certainly been an away day to remember. Stuart, your assessment? Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. challenge and well, he keeps going oh he's left his marker for dead so disappointing for them this is slithering away well the clock's ticking faster than they would like I think that had to go in Derek and they will make the change now so two minutes of stoppage time here Well, Derek, I thought it was a sub.